Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be replacing Justin's gas tank on his Civic because the one that he has has a seam around it and it's rusting out and starting to leak if he fills it up over halfway. So that's what we're going to be doing today. First things first is to get this out of the way because, well, we're not fitting another car in here. Alright, so here's the new gas tank that we're going to be putting in. It didn't come undercoated. Whenever Justin got it, he undercoated it. There were two options on Amazon. There was this one, which was $96, and another one that was $100 and $198. The other one was stainless steel, but since we're undercoating it first, he just got the cheaper one. This is the undercoat used. Just because there are so many electrical things down there, we're going to unhook the battery first. And the other battery. First thing we're going to be doing is taking out the seat. There's just one 10 millimeter bolt in the crack here. Alright, next we've got a couple Phillips head screws. Is there another? Oh, that's actually pretty quick. By the time I go get one, you'll be done. Alright, I was gonna go grab another screwdriver, but by the time you get that, by the time I got it, you'd be done. What is this one like? Looks like you just push that in and pull. One. There's one. There's one. There's two. This is very fun. Remember how much fun we had with these last time? Yeah. That was kind of messy. I don't look like a clip. You look like oh, maybe a clip. you can just pull it. No. No, Jade. It looked loose. Oh, there she goes. Oh, she leaking. Well, stop <sighs> it, sir. How much uh, is sir. How much is coming out? Lots. Well, stop it. All of it. So, what is Philip for? This. Oh, this ain't gonna work. Why? Because that one's stripped. Of course they're stripped. So we've got some little Phillips head plunger things here that need to come out. I thought I took this one. Alright, so we got some of those out. And there's the next thing that needs to come undone. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm guessing that one. I don't care if it breaks. Oh, I got another little clamp. Okay. This is an 11. So that clamp is off. Kinda broke. Yeah, there's probably a clamp up top too. Oh. Five thousand years? Are you telling me that this car is basically a dinosaur? Basically. What is this? It's a flapperoni. I probably need a new. Is that another clamp? No, I just need to get this over here, but it's being a little douche. Alright, so this little cowl piece wraps. Here and then goes all the way down under. There were a couple pins and two underneath. There's 
I was just trying to get this off. <clears throat> oh my Is God. it going anywhere? It's so nasty. It's at least spinning now though, right? What? Yeah. Ugh. That was hard. This guy's so, so that is off now. It's so nasty. You don't like nasty gas in your mouth? Do something with this. What? I need a rag. I don't want that thing. Don't you just want it hanging nasty there? Nasty gas in my mouth. Why not? It's tasty. Uh, I can't fit my little picture in there. Put another line in there. Gotta get the clamp off. There's my baby screwdriver. The stubby one? The long end, this one. Huh. I can't see nothing, Jay. Why not? I need some light source. Just got that one off. Next to come off is this here. Rusty bolt. Yep, we got some more rusty bolts. We sure can't we just take the line off and drop that off with it? Or is that connected up there too? Oh, we can come off on the top. Maybe, Jade. Maybe. Alright, so now we got some bolts here. Strapping the tank on. There's two over here, and then there's going to be two on the other side. So, there's one here. And there's another one here. And those are going to take those straps off. I guess we're... I don't think we're going to be taking the back off. I think we're just going to take the front off. We're not taking them off. Oh, taking you mean we're taking, we're these, taking off. these off? taking these off. Oh, are those are the front. These. Yes, I gotcha. This is the easy one. Uh, we should probably have a jack stand under there. You think? Yeah. You don't want to just drop into the ground? Nah, I don't think I can guess I can throw the jack under there. How's it going, Jack? I'm gonna put you to work. Put it in the middle. Is that the middle? I can't tell. I don't know. I need an extension. I do tend to strip crap, don't I? I'm just a stripper. I don't like to tell me things. I just went from right under the ex the other side of the exhaust there. It don't work that way. It doesn't? It doesn't work. Are you sure? I don't like it. Are you positive? It works. <laughs> don't break it. That doesn't sound really nice. I can't nope. keep it steady on there. Uh oh. Really rusted on there. Uh, lighter. Here's the other one here. Uh, there you go. It makes it a lot easier if you throw a pipe on the end of your ratchet. It gives you a little bit of extra leverage. So the second strap is down. Now we just gotta lower it, I think. We got it dropped. So I forgot to show how the back of the straps came out. They didn't actually unscrew. There's just a bolt in there that lifts up and pulls out. Well, there's the leaking problem. Alright, so next we're gonna have to transfer the fuel pump assembly over to the new one. It should be pretty straightforward. Just a couple nuts here and move it over. We also have to take this off and transfer that over. That is 
pretty rusted and rounded. Looks like we got a 10 here. Oh, you were hiding from me. Sneaky guy. Sneaky lady. Oh, the entire bottom has been undercoated now. Need to prevent as much rust as possible on, on these Hondas. We also ended up getting new straps, which have also been undercoated. And yeah, reinstalling the new gas tank is pretty straightforward. It's just the exact opposite of how you took it off be all for today's video hopefully that helped you out i tried to make it a little bit more informational than some of my other ones yeah so if it helped you give it a like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one